What is a Jelly Mud Shadow? Back in 2018, the Jelly Mud Shadow launched and it was described as the Super Shock Shadow's little sister. Just like the Super Shock Shadow, it's described as super pigmented and one swipe intensity. And it was also described as super long wearing and having zero fallout, zero creasing. But why is it called Jelly Mud Eyeshadow? Well, it's a unique water-based gel-like formula that delivers the intensity in one swipe so you don't need primer or to wet your brush beforehand. When you look at the shadow in the pot, it's jelly-like because it's gel-based. The formula has doubled the pigment and they've added over 50% of water to create an eyeshadow more dynamic than anything ever seen. So the water being built into the shadow allows for the pigment to be doubled in intensity where it can beat out powder shadows in. And once it dries down, it's super long lasting and won't crease on you. The formula is packed with light reflecting 3D pearls. So you get a really pretty chrome, dual chrome holographic look to it. It's kind of like really wet eyeshadow without having to be wet because it dries down to a really pretty finish. Now let's talk about this new launch. ColourPop is launching its permanent Jelly Much eyeshadow lineup, which includes nine new shades and seven bring back shades. I don't have these Jelly Much shadows on hand, but the lineup includes Super Cool, Field of Fairies, Sage Bundle, Mystical, Buzzy, Close to You, Bouquet, Big Ego, Brentwood, Billionaire, Stargaze, Duckling, No Rest for the Vivid, Hallucin- <laughs> Wait. Hallucin hallucinogenous, shiny penny, and emo inside. Okay, wait, I actually do own emo inside because it is from the Troublemaker collection that they launched this past fall. You can buy the full Jelly Much lineup on the ColourPop website for 115 US dollars. Now, while I only have emo inside from the permanent lineup, I do have a bunch of other shades, most of them being from their collab launches. I have both the Star Wars Jelly Much shadows, which include the shades Protocol and Astromech, which are C3 PO and R2D2 inspired a really pretty gold and silver shade. The very first Jelly Much shadows I owned is this trio of terror bundle, which includes Lock, Shock, and Barrel from Nightmare Before Christmas. These shades have a really pretty hot pink, a really deep blue purple -ish shade and a brown shade with a green flip. It kind of reminds me of Rooftop Cocktail Super Shock Shadow. I also have all six from the Troublemaker collection. This is consisting of like purples, pinks, and silvers. Here's a quick look at the purpley and pink-ish shade. And here's a pretty look at the silver and kind of bronzy gold shade. They remind me a little bit of the Star Wars ones. I would say this one's a bit more champagne than gold and a very light pink shift in this one. And the last Jelly Mud shadows that are included in my collection are the three from the Hocus Pocus 2 collection. These ones are a deep purple, a copper shade, and then a nice white shade that has a bit of a duochrome green shift to it. These ones are different than the others because they actually have glitter in them. So it's kind of like a glitter gel Jelly Mud shadow hybrid, which I thought was really cool for this launch. I don't know if you can peep the glitter specks in this one. You can definitely see it on the copper shades lid right here. These are the swatches of my Jelly Mutt shades that are still in good shape. We have the Troublemaker collection, Hocus Pocus 2, and Star Wars here. You can just see the reflectiveness on the shimmer of these shades, especially in the glitter and Hocus Pocus at the bottom. A big complaint that people typically have with Jelly Mutt shadows is that they dry up and it makes them unable to be used, but I have noticed a difference between my Nightmare Before Christmas ones and my most recent ones from the Troublemaker collection. For this example, I'm going to be using shock and sass recap. So once I open up shock, I'm already looking at it and it feels hard as a rock. I'm not, I'm getting pigment still. So I still keep it just in case I want to use it. But looking at this specific part is this was the lid that came with the Jelly Machado. It is plastic. It doesn't really keep the hydration sealed into the water-based formula and therefore this jelly dried up really quickly. Now, when we open Sass Recap, this is a much different lid that we see here. We have a much more sturdy lid and it says, keep me to lock the magic in. So it's letting people know to keep the lid. The lid is much more sturdy and we still have a nice jelly much shadow in there. Just to show y'all, I am taking my finger and you can see the formula bouncing back at me. Whereas with shock, it's not really bouncing back and it's a little crusty. I should probably throw shock away, but I just can't bring myself to. Just a side by side of these two. And this is the difference in the lids. Okay, enough talking, let's actually use the product. So I just popped on some really quick eyeshadow and I'm trying to decide 
which jelly mud shadows I want to use for what part of this look because now I'm going to be showing you different ways you can use the jelly mud shadow because you know we're all about versatility on this channel. The first shade we will be using is Sass Recap which is a metallic pinky violet shade. Now when using jelly mud shadows you can use your finger or you can use a small shader brush to pack on the pigment. I'm going to be using my finger for today. So just to bring y'all in a little bit more I am taking my finger getting pigment packed on there and then I am just going to swipe it on my lid just to get it to where I want to go and we're just packing it on and we can pack on more if we want to as well and then I like to take my clean finger and just like pat it just to get it to blend into the other shadows I have on my lid and just like that it is blended onto my lid this is a beautiful shade especially if you have hazel or green eyes it'll really make your eyes pop now just doing the other eye very carefully swiping it on and patting it in so that it blends this is it on both eyes it dries down beautifully. I love, love, love this formula, especially if you're someone who loves shimmers. This is definitely for you. Now I am taking Astromech from the Star Wars collection. Astromech is a very cool toned light silver sparkle finish. I am taking my pinky finger and I'm going to be putting it in my inner corner because y'all know I love a good inner corner highlight. Like, look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. <laughs> And then just to add a bit more dimension to my lid, I'm going to be taking the shade So What. So What is a warm lilac shade. And I'm just taking a clean finger and going in the middle of my eye right over it. You can see that this eye in the middle has a little bit more shine than this side. Just to show y'all again one more time, I'm just patting it right on top of it to bring more dimension to the eye. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Love Jelly Mud Shadow. Something that I also really like to do with Jelly Mud Shadow is I like to use it as a highlight. For that, I'm going to be using Drama Season. And Drama Season is described as a metallic bright silvery taupe shade. And again, I'm just using my finger. I'm tapping off the excess on the back of my hand just so I don't do too much too soon. And then I'm just going to go right across my my cheekbone ever so lightly, taking a clean finger and dabbing it in. And I'm layering more as I want more. So you can see the highlight on this side. It's super shimmery. I love this color compared to this side, this side again. I hope that it's there when I'm editing this because that would be embarrassing if it was not. And this is the highlight on both sides. I probably did a little too much, but you know, it's hard not to. And last but not least, we are going to use the inline shade that I do have, Emo Inside. The black shade with hot pink pinpoints. And what we're going to do with Emo Inside, I'm taking a sharp angled brush and I'm dipping into it because this is the perfect shade for eyeliner. So like I said, with the sharp angled brush, I am just starting to draw the wing on my lid, bringing it out. And I'm not just swiping it on, I'm doing swiping motions and patting motions, kind of stamping it on to get a nice wing shape. And I'm just going to take my finger at the bottom, swipe it out, get it more sharp. And this is the final look using Jelly Mud Shadows. I switched out my lip color just because I felt like it matched the vibes of this look a bit more. This is the Luxe Velvet Lip from the Troublemaker Collection. It is in the shade Seriously. It's a really pretty rich vampy red. I just feel like such a grunge rock star with this look. It's, I'm, this is is a fave. Just to go over this look, we used Sass Recap and So What on the lid. We used Astromech in the inner corner. We used Drama Season for a highlight and we used Emo Inside for the eyeliner. Let me know what you think of this look, this video of the Jelly Mud Shadow. Have you been a fan of the Jelly Mud Shadow? Are you going to try it for the first time? Are you intrigued by it? My number one advice when you get a Jelly Mud Shadow is to make sure you keep that lid to keep the magic inside. That lid does not lie, it locks it in. As soon as you're done using the Jelly Mud Shadow, put the lid back on, seal the cap tight, just to make sure the life is as long as possible. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button if you wanna be the first to see all my content. Thank you so much for watching.